There is no drama. The shoe was beige, flat, dull, motherly, practical, lonely, wet, cheap, left foot. It was also a few meters and a few moments behind me where it had just fallen from my foot. There is no drama, but the spectators in the square paused their activities and assumed their new positions. The mannequins that they'd folded into stood neatly in lines, each of them vulnerably wrapped in wire. Mirrored glass melted across their faces as they juried my every move. There is no drama. The windows of the bus were filled with heads that formed a collage of questions and frowns and open mouths. I'd considered returning to pick up the shoe. That was the trigger. How could I consider taking five steps backwards to collect it? It's just a shoe on a square. All my faults as a mother were painted in front of me. And there were many. Each lay bare and documented for all to read. Painted on card in the newspaper shop. Scrawled in pen across the phone box in the corner of the square. There is no drama. I close my eyes, as I've done so many times before, but the jury was out, and every mirror from every face that looked over to me webbed the sun, which poured into my eyes. The collage in the bus windows became animated, excited. I was their subject. There is no drama. There's no acting or cameras or lights or makeup or directors. There's no nominations or edits or red carpets. There's just a cobbled square. There will be no closing credits. There is no drama. My eyes darted as the green coat edged slightly. It was followed by a sudden movement in the blue jeans. The mannequins had failed to notice as they'd looked away from the scene towards the shops from which they'd bled. The blinding lights had fallen into a soft hush that felt like an adolescent lullaby to complement what was unfolding in front of me. Distant ringing came from the bus and the faces had pulled away from the window. His arm was first to surface from the foliage of the green jacket and blue jeans. The remaining figure of the 13-month-old infant followed on all fours. Like a puppet, he rose gently to his feet for the first time, but no strings held him, and no mother held him, although she watched. The infant took his shaky, yet colossal steps towards me, and with an occasional stumble and a constant smile, he passed by me like a tiny boat on a calm river of cobbles. the shoe that was still a few meters behind and he began his pilgrimage towards me that cost him 15 steps or more. Placing the shoe in my hand, he seemed to wink and then to laugh a bit. My eyes blurred as the sun I would always love, regardless of all my faults, melted back beyond the green jacket and blue jeans. There is no drama.